You ever wonder like, are these snacks good for my kid's teeth? They say they're organic, they're vegan. Is this actually okay for my kid to eat? I, I probably actually wonder that more than most of you because I'm the dentist who thinks about these things all the time. But I, I did used to wonder that. And so um, what I actually do, a cool simple thing you can do is just these pH strips. You can get these on Amazon and you actually use these after they have a snack. So you can eat whatever, you know, Annie's Cheddar Bunnies or Johnny Pops or something. And you're like, this says it's organic. How's it, how do the teeth feel about it? You take this and then your child um, puts this in their mouth and, or you're technically supposed to spit on it, fill it with a spoon, but I just have my kids put it in their mouth. And then, and then you line this up and it shows you how acidic their mouth is. And so it'll change color to the acidity of the mouth. And I can put in the caption kind of the, the details of like above this pH, your tooth is healing, below this t t pH, your, your mouth is so acidic that your tooth is breaking down or you're getting holes in the teeth or cavities. But this is a really cool way to see, hey, what snacks are making my child's mouth really acidic or a dangerous environment? And then one of my favorite things to do is I give my kids this snack that's really not very good for their teeth and you get a really low pH, like a very acidic environment. But then I'll give them mints or gum that are xylitol and the pH goes really high, like eight, above eight, high sevens, which basically is remineralizing or healing the teeth. So I think two principles here. One, you can just learn, hey, what snacks are okay or what snacks are harder on the teeth and just be aware of that. But then two, realizing that, wow, if I follow up those snacks with a mint or gum that has xylitol, it's going to reverse that acidity and kind of protect the teeth.